Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at how we can use GitHub Actions for deploying our containerized React app to AWS ECS. The initial setup and deployment video can be found in a previous video that I'll link in the description along with our source code for today's project. So I've got a basic React app and I pulled the code from our previous video. The only thing I changed was the text in our H1 tag. So let's go ahead and run this locally to see what we've got. That looks pretty good, so we can go ahead and stop the application. Let's check our AWS console to ensure we've got our cluster, services, task definitions, and container registry. Again, if you don't have this set up, just reference the previous video in the description. All right, and this all looks good, so let's get started on our CI CD pipeline. Open VS Code and create a new directory called .github, followed by another directory in .github called Workflows. This is the default location that GitHub will look to find your pipeline. Go ahead and create a file called aws-ecs.yaml. This will define our pipeline. First, we'll give it a name and then we'll define our trigger. This trigger says to run this pipeline every time code is pushed or merged with the master branch. Now I'll set up some environment variables that we can reference throughout our YAML file. Keep in mind that these will be specific to your account and your configuration. We'll have our AWS region, we'll have our container name provided in the task definition, our container registry, our container registry repository, our ECS cluster, our ECS task definition, and finally our ECS service. Next, I'll define a default. Essentially, we want to run this using a bash shell, just as we would on a Linux or Mac machine. Then we'll define a deploy job that runs on an Ubuntu machine. The environment here is set to production, but you could use development or something else. You'll see this later in your GitHub repository. Now let's write the core steps and logic for our pipeline. Step one, we'll check out from the current master branch so we have access to the code from this pipeline. Step two, we'll configure our AWS access credentials. Now notice here I'm passing in two variables that reference secrets. We'll need to set these up later in our GitHub repository so the pipeline has programmatic access. Step three, programmatically log into ECR. Step four, build, tag, and push our image to ECR. A few things to note in this step. We're tagging our image dynamically based on the GitHub commit SHA. This is great for managing versions because you can reference the image tag directly to a GitHub commit. In our run command, we build and tag the image, push the image, and then we output that image tag because we'll need to reference the SHA in a later step. Step five, download our existing task definition to a local JSON file. Step six, update our task definition with the latest image we built and pushed to ECR. Finally, step seven, we want to deploy our updated task definition. One thing to note is that we can set a variable to wait for service stability. This means the pipeline will periodically ping ECS 
to ensure that the previous instance has been deregistered and completely drained, and the new instance is running and has reached a steady state. I'm leaving it to false, but it's entirely your preference. One last thing I want to add to our README is a deployment badge to show when our deployment is passing or failing. This won't be viewable in your local preview, but you'll be able to see it once we push to GitHub. When you initially commit your code, you should see the deployment pipeline kick off automatically. This build should fail because we did not set up our repository secrets for connecting to AWS. Navigate to your repo settings, secrets, and actions, and add a new secret. We'll need to add our AWS access key ID and our AWS secret access key. You get these credentials when creating a programmatic access user through the IAM portal in your AWS console. Back in the home page of our repo, we can see our cool README deployment badge and the deployment environment. Let's revisit our deployment details and rerun the failed job. After the build completes, we can see our commit now has a successful check mark. Our production deployment is active, and after a few refreshes, our README badge is passing. <music> Lastly, we can visit our application load balancer, grab the DNS, and check out our website. That's all I've got for this video. Thanks for watching.